I wanted to make sure that I painted my nails for today's video because I hate when I have chipped, disgusting nails. So I wanted to make sure my nails look nice. Cannot find my nail polish remover, so we went to CVS. I felt that magnetic pull, and thus a haul was born. So I'm just going to jump right into this. Um, I got a few not so exciting things, so I'll just blow through those first. First thing is, if you need nail polish remover, you probably need cotton pads. So I just got cotton balls. They're actually really tiny. They were buy one, get one half off. So I was just kind of like, ah, why not? And um, honestly, I just take two together and then um, use them to remove my disgusting nail polish. Also, nail polish remover was buy one, get one half off as well. So I got two bottles. I got one of the non-acetone polish remover and then one nail strengthening one. I used the strengthening one today. It fulfilled its nail polish removing duties, so I am satisfied. Now, let's talk about the nail color I have on today. Periwinkle, my favorite color from Milani, 50% off. But that means when they do this, doesn't it usually mean that they're getting rid of it? If so, how incredibly unfortunate because this is just a stunning color. It's a really creamy finish. It's not the greatest formula. I definitely had to apply two coats. I could probably do with another. My nails are also in need of a good buffing, so they're not really taking polish very well today. But it is just an absolute stunning color, and it's definitely one that I can work with. The finish is really nice, and I am typically used to having to apply at least two coats of polish anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. But if you're a one coat kind of gal, mm, not so much. Really cheap, 50% uh, off, so this was like $2 and change, so... Yes, thank you, CVS. You guys know I am absolutely addicted to the Maybelline color tattoos. I love them. I love MAC paint pots. I just don't like the price point when you can get something from the drugstore that literally does the exact same thing. I have four. <laughs> These are the new leather tattoos, which a lot of people think are a limited edition, but they are permanent, so fear not. They will be here for a long time. So I got one shade, and this is Deep Forest. And it's a little concerning because in the pot there seems to be a bit of a crease or something. I don't know if that's a drying out or if that's just a little air pocket that got in there, but I hope nothing terrible happens to this because I want these to last as long as possible. It's just a really pretty muted matte green color. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but on the lids it applies matte. I have used this. It's not my favorite color tattoo, but it absolutely works well as a base. I think this would go really well under Max Sumptuous Olive or the lighter shimmery greens in the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. So if you have any of those shades or shades that are kind of similar to that, I think this would be an excellent base. And I think on its own, you might need to work with it just a little bit. That is in comparison to the other color tattoos, which are all amazing. As far as cream shadows go, it's pretty solid. And the color tattoo I used as a base today, and it is in the shade Vintage Plum. Really love this, very similar to Toughest Taupe, but this one's a lot more purpley. That one was definitely more on the gray side of taupe. This is definitely more purpley, which is what I tend to gravitate towards anyway. Really awesome, really creamy formula, so incredibly easy to work with. Ooh, I'm in love. And I think this is a really great transition color for fall as well. If you saw from my last video, I'm not the biggest summer person. I am so, so excited for fall because in Arizona, Fall is just absolutely gorgeous and I love fall colors and I think this will be really really great staple this season as well as next. And this is in the shade Creamy Beige. Open this baby. So it's almost got a bit of a satin finish if you can see that right there. And this is definitely very creamy. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love new color tattoos. It's just... Oh, my kryptonite. So really gorgeous neutral base. Not pulling incredibly pink or cool. It's definitely like a happy medium. This would be a great neutral to have in anyone's arsenal. It's really nice and I feel like this could be so versatile. You could use this just for every day or even under like some really vibrant eyeshadows. I don't think this would really interfere with like a dark purple or dark green. I feel like this would be an excellent base for anything. So I think if you're going to get any color tattoo and you just want to get one, I think this would be an excellent shade. Yeah, this is really nice. The next shade is in Chocolate Suede. This is not a matte color. I've seen swatches online and this is definitely one that's got like a bit of a metallic finish. So we're going to just swatch that one right next to it. And this is a really nice bronzy shade. And it's a little bit deeper than, you know, your typical bad to the bronze from Maybelline, but 
it's really nice. Oh, I am so excited to use this. This will absolutely be a great fall color because I think putting MAC Mulch over this would just be absolutely stunning. And these two together also can be, they can be friends for sure. Even though it's not technically a matte or a satin finish like the other ones are, I think it will still have the same great consistency and provide to be a really awesome base. And then the last two things that I got were lip products and these are from Revlon and they are the matte balms. One of these I saw in Ingrid's video. If you guys can't tell, I really like Miss Glamorazzi. I don't think she has any idea who I am, but I do really enjoy her videos. And she has been wearing Audacious, I believe this is the shade. So we'll go ahead and do a little swatchy swatch. Wow, mom, so gorgeous. I want to put this on like right now. Amazing color. I love the matte balms. <laughs> Wow. And then the other matte balm I got is in the shade Unapologetic. Yes! So good. So good. I really love these Revlon matte balms. I do like the initial Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm stains that came out a couple years ago. However, I do prefer a matte lip color when it comes to bright colors like that. I think when colors like that get too glossy, on me, I kind of start to feel a little uncomfortable. I don't know why that is, but I just really prefer like a bright matte lip. I think that is just such a fresh look that looks great all year round. I'm really excited to try these out. I hope that they look good on me. Some colors like this can get really weird with me. Ugh. I'm so obsessed. I cannot wait to try out these new products. If you have found any really fun products from the drugstore recently that you think I would really like, or just in general any cool finds that you've hauled recently, let me know in the comment section. I would love to check them out. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I have several other videos that I've uploaded this week, so I will link them at the end of this video as well as in the description box. Please go check them out. I really love making videos for you guys. I work really hard on them, so if you have any comments or feedback that you'd like to give or any requests, please feel free to post a comment below or even send me a private message. I would love to hear from you. I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.